Florida in 1991. Their beginnings here were actually pretty humble. They started off in an older warehouse not far from here on Sands Lake Road. It was in foreclosure and so they kitted it out with offices, space and everything and they were there for a number of years but God obviously had greater plans in store for them, right? When you look around you can see that he did. And um, the ground that we're sitting on is approximately 280 square acres of very valuable real estate. It was all donated to them, so they had to come here. They really couldn't miss that opportunity. And so other ideas they had of moving to Colorado, Colorado they totally dismissed. And I always say thank you, God, that they chose Florida, because <laughs> I'm from Ireland. <laughs> and if you've ever been there, you realize this weather here is like heaven for me already. So <laughs> next I'm going to show you guys a quick video of a young girl and she gets to explain just how very impactful the Jesus film was in her family. My name is Chia. I come from a traditional Hmong family. A tribal group. Um, we're scattered all around Southeast Asia. In my family, I'm the first one to go to college. When I first came here as a freshman, I had no clue who Jesus was. For me, the Bible was just this old book that white people read. My first impression of Christians were really, really nice people. They asked me how I'm doing, but they never really pushed the Bible in my face. I was just like being friends and just being there for me. At this point in my life, I, I was really depressed. Um, I was really into drinking. And I'm thinking like, I want what these girls have, like that joy, that hope. And I no longer want to do things on my own. And then I talked to my friend at the Bible study leader and she was like, I've been through the same thing that you have been. Let's do this together, you know, let's talk about this. She shared the story of me on how um, there's this God and that God loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us, and that it's just this gift that we have to accept. When she left, I just sat there bawling with this booklet, and I'm just like, wow, I accepted Christ. And that that was just the beginning of my journey. That's when I went home for winter break, and then I just um, read the Bible like every single day, just attacked the Bible. I was challenged to go on an international summer project. 